Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be taking you through the ropes of registration. But first, let's go over one of Academica's major security features. Wayne State requires students to utilize Duo two-factor authentication when logging into Wayne State account. This acts as an added layer of security so that other people are not able to log into your Wayne State accounts and access your information. The first thing you need to do is download and install the Duo mobile application on your iOS or Android device, which you can find on the App Store or Google Play Store. The app should be a green icon with Duo written in white font. Once you install the app, open it up and tap the Get Started option. Once you get there, open up your computer and log on to Academica. In the top right corner of Academica, there is a person icon that you need to click on. This will open a drop down menu where you should see an account management option that takes you to another page. You should see a list of options on the left side of the account management page. Click two factor authentication. From there, you should eventually see a message that says, Protect your Wayne State University account, and then an option to select Start Setup. You will follow on-screen instructions to set up your device with Duo. Scan the QR code at the end of the setup to finalize the process. Once this is complete, the next time you have to log in with your Wayne State account information, you can simply select the option to Send Me a Push, and you will receive a notification to your phone. Once you confirm on your Duo app that this is actually you trying to log in, you will proceed through the login screen and you'll be good to go. For questions about setting up two-factor authentication, please call the CNIT Help Desk at 313-577-4357. Now that you know how to set up this major security feature, let's go over the fundamentals of registration. To start off, there are two ways that you can go and browse a course. You can either go to registration.wayne.edu or log into your Wayne State Academica account and access the registration portal. If you go to the link of registration.wayne.edu and enter it into your web browser, you will see five tabs under the registration page. Those five tabs include prepare for registration, plan ahead, view your class schedule, browse classes, and register for classes. If you are just looking to browse slash look around for classes, go ahead and click that tab and that says browse classes. Once on that page, under select a term, choose the term you are looking to start the semester in. For incoming students beginning classes in fall 2020, you will select the term fall 2020. Once you have selected the term, the two most important things you will have to enter to look for a course are the course number and the subject. For example, if you are looking for the introduction course to psychology, you would enter PSY or type out psychology in the subject line, which is in the very first line on the page, and enter 1010 in the course number line, which is directly below the subject line. Once you find your course, hit enter or go to the bottom of the page and click search. After hitting enter or search, you will see all the course options divided into nine columns. The first column shows the CRN for the course reference number, which is a five digit number used to register you for a specific section of a course. The second column shows the subject, followed by the course number, which is the third column. The fourth shows you the title of the course, followed by the number of credit hours for the course. The sixth column will typically show you who your instructor is. If you don't see an instructor there in the column, don't panic. You can still choose this class. We will explain what that means in a later video. Following the instructor column, you will see the meeting times and location column, which shows you which days of the week you will be attending the course, the time, and where. On the very last column, you will see the status of the course. This shows you the number of seats left in the class for you to register and whether it will be a linked course, online, or just a lecture. We will also discuss the different variations of learning methods in a later video. If you want to search for another course, you can click the small green bar at the top right of the page which reads search again. This action will then take you back to the main page of the course browsing. 
Now let's say you're on the page that displays a course that you are interested in taking and you're overwhelmed by all the columns of CRNs, subjects, course numbers, etc. If you want to look at things one at a time, or if this seems more relaxed to you, you can click the small gear icon below the search again bar to remove a column you think you won't need to see or just make things more spacious to your liking. It's all up to you. The other alternative of reaching the registration portal is by signing into your Academica account. You can do this by searching Wayne State University in any search engine and clicking Login on the top right side of the web page. Once you reach the Login page, sign in by typing your Wayne State Access ID in the Access ID line. The Access ID consists of two letters followed by four digits. Once you type your ID into that line, put in your password that you created. If you forgot your password, Click the tab to the right which says forgot your access ID or password and follow the instructions provided. Once on the Academica page, go to the left hand side of the page which lists various sections at your disposal such as my frequent links, resources, organizations, and many more. To navigate the registration portal, go to the resources section and click the student resources. Once you have selected student resources, click the registration tab. Once you have selected the registration tab, click the very last link which reads registration portal. After selecting it, you will find the very same registration page with the five different categories including browse classes. Click it to search for courses you are interested in. Once you feel like you are ready to register, go back to the main registration portal and select register for classes. Once you select it, the page will take you to another page that is full of information called the Financial Responsibility Agreement. Take the time to read it carefully. To put it in simpler terms, this form is an agreement between you and the university that holds you accountable for paying your tuition and fee bill. Once you have read it, click the checkbox to continue. Once you pass the Financial Responsibility Agreement, you will select the term that corresponds to when you want to begin classes. Once you have selected the term, you will then be taken to another page and see various tabs such as find classes, enter CRNs, plans, and schedule and options. The find classes tab works similarly to the browse classes page where you may know what class you want to take, but maybe you just don't know what time of day or week you want to take the course. You would do the same thing you would do with the browsing page and enter the subject of the class in the subject line and the course number in the course number line and hit search to find the course that best suits your schedule. But let's say you already know the classes that you want to take and the day of the week and time you want to take the courses. In that case, switch over to the following tab, which is Enter CRNs. The CRN contains all the information needed to register for your selected courses. So all you have to do in this tab is enter all the CRNs of the courses you want to take. You can either do this one at a time by clicking Add to Summary below the CRN line every time you enter a CRN, or you can just add another CRN line by selecting Add another CRN. That way you can enter all your CRNs at once and select Add to Summary, which will add them to the schedule below. Now let's say you added a course you decide not to take. Don't worry. It's a very simple process to remove that course, and it doesn't take much time at all. As stated before, your class schedule will appear below every time you add a course to your summary. There are two sections in the bottom half of the page. To the left of the page, you will see a calendar outline of what your week will look like whenever you add a course called Schedule. To the right will appear a list of classes you added to your summary schedule called Summary. To remove a course you don't want, you have to look at Summary. To remove or drop a course, go to the course you don't want to take. Then all you have to do is go to the column that says Action, and under that column, there is a bar that says None. Go ahead and click that bar. A dropdown will appear with two options to choose from. One is None, and the other is Drop. To remove the class, select Drop. Now that you have added all of the courses you want to take and have selected Drop to any courses you don't wish to take, you have to select Submit on the bottom right of the page to finalize your options. Once you hit Submit, all of your added courses will say Registered in green and the class calendar will appear in color in the Schedule section of the page. 
that's going to do it for this video on how to browse a course and how to add or drop a course. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.